Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shireen. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my perfume collection. I'm not going to lie, my perfume collection is not that big. I have five major perfumes that I use in rotation, but they're five really good solid perfumes that I feel like everyone would like. I feel like these scents are something that everyone likes and I also get a lot of compliments on them so if you want to know which perfumes I use make sure you stay tuned. So the first perfume that I have in my collection is this Jimmy Choo perfume. It's called I Want You and I have all the scent families in my phone so let me go ahead and read those off to you real quick. Jimmy Choo is a sparkling floral warm and spicy fragrance infused with velvet peach and vanilla that gives way to jasmine and red spider lily. The fragrance family is floral, scent type is floral warm and spicy. The keynotes, the top is mandarin juice and velvet peach, middle is red spider lily and jasmine, and the base is vanilla. When you first smell it, it gives you like a soft floral but strong scent if you get what I'm saying. Like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really get peach from it. I don't really know what the other things that it has in it smells like but I just knew like this is a nice soft smelling fruity but floral scent. I wear this perfume every day. It's like one of my everyday perfumes and I really don't want it to finish because my parents got me this for my birthday last year and it's been just my favorite ever since. I don't want to say top favorite because I have another favorite that I'm about to show you guys in a second, but this is, this is definitely, honestly, all these perfumes are my favorite. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I, I have them all, I use them all, they're all my favorite. But this is just the one that I wear every single day. Next perfume on the list is this one by Gucci. It's called Guilty. Now, this perfume is very enticing. Gucci Guilty is a rich and noble oriental floral with citrus mandora layered with lilac and deep duet of patchouli olis. The top is mandora and pink pepper, middle is lilac and the base is patchoul. I don't even know what the heck a patchoul is but this is just so enticing. I don't even know how to really explain it but it's just You do get a little bit of lavender when you sniff it hard, like that after scent gives you like a nice lavender smell. But this is really good for date night. This is a date night program. I'm not gonna lie to you. Put this on, your man gonna be on you. Every time I wear this, my boyfriend is all over me. He's like, he's like, oh, you smell good. You smell good, what you got on? And I always tell him it's this one. And I'm so mad that I bought the small one, but this is kind of, this one kind of expensive. I think it was like $86 for this time. For this time. I think it was $86 for this tiny little bottle. I looked up online to see how much a bigger bottle was and it was going up to $200. And I don't know if I'm willing to spend that kind of money on perfume. Maybe one day when I'm rich, I'll be like, yeah, give me five bottles of the Gucci Guilty. I don't even know how to like rate these perfumes because I can't be like, oh yeah, this one's number one and this one's number two. Because if you ask me, they're all number one. So I'll just say these are my, these are my favorites. They're my top, top favorites. Next perfume that I have on the list is Mundane. This one, I was actually really surprised when I read the scent family because I'm gonna tell you why. Hold on. Let me read the scent family for you and then I'll tell you why it was surprising to me that it didn't have what I thought it would have in it. So the top note is peach, grapefruit, and pink pepper. The middle is freesia, iris, rose, and jasmine. And the base notes are amber, patchouli, that patchouli name keeps coming up cedarwood and tobacco. This perfume smells like pure vanilla. It smells like a musky type of vanilla and I was just so surprised to find out that it didn't have any vanilla in it. By the way all these perfumes that I've been talking about so far, honestly all of these just in general, all the perfumes I'm gonna mention last you pretty much all day. 
Next on the list, we have J'adore by Dior. This is actually, first of all, look at the packaging. It's so cute. I love that. And this is actually a roll on. Another enticing perfume. Let's go ahead and read the scent family. The, fra the fragrance, the fragrance family for this one is floral. The scent type is classic floral. Keynotes are Lang Lang, Damask and Rose, Grasse, Jasmine. This is giving very sexy. I'm gonna roll it on right now. It smells so good. It smells so good. Date night, fancy event. Put this on. This is amazing. And it's like. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's kind of like oily. So I'm guessing like it's oil based. Not 100% sure. But it just smells so fresh, so clean, yet soft at the same time. You could put it on for everyday wear. This is that stuff. This is crack. I feel like I went hard for this one. I didn't go as hard for the other ones. But trust me, those other ones have the same exact love. Last but not least is my newest perfume that I have. It's so cute and adorable, but this scent goes crazy. Like, okay, so let me go ahead and read the fragrance family that it's from. So it's fresh floral. Top notes is bergamot, juicy pear, pink peppercorn. Middle is rose and jasmine. Bottom is white musk, vanilla patchouli and cedarwood and that patchouli keeps coming oh my voice cracked oh that's unattractive patchouli keeps coming out i'm telling y'all there's something with me patchouli whoever patchouli is hey patchouli girl and apparently i like cedarwood too this is giving every day you can wear it like every day anywhere anywhere it's kind of like how i said you can wear this one everywhere oh you know what they both have cedarwood in it. So maybe there's like some correlation with cedarwood. I don't know. But this is definitely an everyday wear. And this tiny bottle was expensive. I almost didn't buy it. And the big bottle apparently, I'm looking at it right now. And a big bottle is $130. All these perfumes have a different scent. Even though they're all from kind of the same family, they all smell very, very, very different, which I am so happy about. I didn't want to get any perfumes that have a similar scent to each other because that defeats the purpose. I do have like a roll-on that smells very similar to mundane, but that's a roll-on. It's fine. It could smell like mundane. That's fine. But all the other ones smell very different from each other. And I love that. This can be found at Ulta. This can be found at Ulta. This can be found at Ulta. And this can be found at Sephora. This one I bought from a kiosk in the mall. All of them can be found in a local store, except for mundane. You can probably order that online. That is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found a perfume scent family that you like and you go buy one and tell me about it. Leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.